Well, the next polar challenge in photography is dealing with contrast, dealing with the difference between the brightest areas in the world out there in the Arctic and the Antarctic to some of the darker areas. Like in this scene in South Georgia, coming ashore at sunrise, you've got a bright sky, you've got a dark foreground. Cameras have a difficult time handling this. It's not like our eyes. Our eyes can see and handle the extremes of contrast. So we have to do something in photography, and, and one thing to do is to underexpose the scene, and then you can process it later using Lightroom or Aperture, one of the programs, or you can use what's called a graduated neutral density filter. So if I were to put a filter over this scene, I could brighten the foreground and balance the sky in the foreground for a more effective image. These filters are half gray, half clear. We call them a graduated neutral density filter. They hold back the bright contrast, in this case of the sky or the water. And you can also use them to slow the shutter speed down. So you can shoot motion blur shots using these neutral density filters as well.